that's a problem. All right, so we're gonna look under the hood here. You look right down there. Right here by the radiator hose. You look right down there. There it is, right there. This little plastic piece, you just pull it up, just like that. If you need to be able to see it a little better. Sometimes you need to get your hand to it. And there it is, okay? Here's a better angle of it. Come right off the radiator hose, go underneath the radiator hose, and there it is right there. All right. So today we're changing the coolant temperature sensor. All right. There's the code. All right, I got this at the dealership. All right, let's get into it. This is upside down, so you can't see how the the uh, quick connect comes off. Take a 19, take a 19, and what you'll do is you'll go ahead and get the 19 in here, and then you'll turn it. As you turn it around, you could see how to get that quick connect off. So you would just push, pull. So here's what I did. I pushed this part in with my finger. I pushed with one finger and I pulled. It came out, okay? Now what we're gonna do is go ahead and take this thing out. Oh, you better put a hand underneath it or it will fall down. Here's the old one, here's the new one. So the new one didn't have the little ring, didn't have the washer. So I'm gonna take this washer off the old one, put it on the new one, it should do fine. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and, we're gonna go ahead and put this one back in. After you get the threads lined up, go ahead and screw it in by hand as much as you can. I'm gonna snug that down first with this wrench. Just snug tight, you don't wanna overdo that. So, got that on, now I'm gonna go ahead and line up my, uh, you can see that the top part is on bottom, so, We'll have to slide this back in on bottom. You got it on there. You want to push it till it clicks. Click. And then we'll line everything back up. Pop it back in place. And let's give it a start. All right, the real test is these warning cranks. Started up like nothing. Well, guys, I think that about fixed it. Um, when that coolant temperature uh, sensor goes out, it's not sending accurate data to the computer system. And uh, what it'll do is it'll either send too much fuel or not enough fuel to your engine. And uh, mine was sputtering. So this fixed it, started cold, you know, on that cold crank in the morning. And uh, I haven't had a problem with it. So. If you like it, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you on the next video. Take care.